Today we have a Sunday service call. We have a house that was actually a trailer that I guess a group of folks were moving into and the thermostat wire got cut in half. I said while the power was off so hopefully the transformer will be fine. It will just be running a new wire and wiring things back up so it should be pretty simple but you never know. That's why I'm filming. Here we have our severed thermostat wire. So we're at the here and for whatever reason they cut that off. Runs right along through there. And we have our thermostat. Kind of low to the ground too. Just uh, my head's, you know, up here. So interesting. And it runs back. We have a Mortex coil. Intertherm. Oh, I think this is a familiar unit. Hold on a second. I think this is the one. Yep. A couple years ago, I had a video called Nordine Blower Assembly, and I think this is it, if I remember correctly. So, this is that particular unit. So, there's a new assembly on an old system. So we're going to get this wire ran around and wire it back up and make sure it was wired right to begin with, which is actually a pretty big problem in this sort of a We have our Focus Pro 5000 here. I'm about to take the wires off of it. As you see, this is a heat pump. So we have R for 24 volt hot, our Y for the contactor. We have our black wire running to O slash B for the reversing valve. We have our green wire going to our G terminal for fan, and we have a white wire for auxiliary, which is just utilizing the heat strips that are built into the electric furnace as auxiliary heat. So we're gonna take those off and then rewire it up, and this one doesn't have a comma, we're gonna give it a common, uh, just so it won't have to be battery powered. Looks like our heat strips have seen better days, as you see there. Busted off in a couple different locations. Up here in the top corner and around here so these things are pretty much shot all to hell I had to order some new ones of those but until then we'll just disconnect the control wire so they will not run I've wired up the thermostat and resecured it to the wall because it was falling out I put some new filter media in this filter even though it's grossly undersized <laughs> what else is new there's a relay box we took a look at the heat strips already I'm about to slide the blower assembly back in there and the wire the low voltage minus the heat strip wire control wire and then see if the machine will run on compressor heat and the fan motor and everything just make sure everything else is working and then because uh, it's Sunday I'll order the other parts tomorrow and then we'll come back and put those in. Now that I've slid the blower assembly back in there's two screws on the front of it and then the relay box will go and screw right into the front of the blower housing and then the lid for the relay box will go in and then we can do our wiring on the terminal block on the top of the relay box. Alright our wiring at the terminal block is finished. First we have our green wire that's our fan wire from the thermostat. Second group two blues is common. Third is W for the heat strips. That is sectioned off because the heat strips are damaged. It's taped off from the thermostat and from the condenser because the condenser will initiate a call for heat strips during defrost. 24 volts hot going to both the condenser and the thermostat. The last one is a wire terminal that is unused because it does not go anywhere underneath the uh, fuse block. And we can just send the signal straight out to the condenser. And the board is none the wiser. I should say board the machine. So we're going to put the panel back on here and see if we can start this thing back up and see if it's performing and behaving well. Well our Unitherm furnace is back on but our condenser has not come back on yet so I'm going to go check and see why that is and see if I just overlook something or something else. Well as you see the machine is running now what I did is I came up I just pushed the contactor in to test to see if the compressor and fan would run and it pulled right in so it's just a case of a contactor that's not doing very well so we're going to change that out too. Wow little extravaganza today all sorts of stuff we have our new contactor in there this one's more enclosed in order to keep out debris and bugs and things like that 
Doesn't always work, but it's uh, better than having it open. Here's our L1, L2 at the bottom. Common side, a low voltage here on this side. Our Y1 on this side coming in. On the bottom also you have your crankcase heater wires going to the bottom of the compressors, the crankcase heater. Uh, on our right at the top we have our common for the fan and for the compressor. And on the left we have our run for the fan and compressor. And it jumps across over to the capacitor where you have our start windings for the compressor. Or start wire going to the start windings for the compressor. And the outdoor fan motor. And this is our jumper from the one leg of power over to the capacitor. There's our defrost controller. It's been pretty much the same on Goodman for a long time. There's our low voltage connections. And that's about it. I'm about to start this thing up and see if she's alive when she's supposed to be. There she goes. CPLE 36. Alive and well.